Hello, folks. Tonight, I am going after the Butterfly Nebula. And I've changed things up a little bit. I needed a bigger field of view. I'm still on my big refractor, so what I did is I took my flattener off and I put on my Orion 0.8 reducer. So it's going to give me a little, a little extra field of view and a big boost in speed. And right now, I'm capturing four minute exposures with HA. Uh, the mean readout is 1060. Now, um, I don't really like what's going on here because um, the, the mean readout should be going down with each image I capture, and it's not. When it hangs in the same place or it goes higher, then there's haze out there. And I know there is, but I was still kind of hoping it would go down. So I don't know how the state is going to turn out. But let's look at one raw image. And there's a lot of data coming through from one raw image, but... You know, I'm not sure how this is supposed to look on a really good night, so I have nothing to compare it to yet. So I'll probably end up capturing eight more HA on a different night just to see if, if this data stacks up with the other night. We'll see. And let's take a look at my guiding. Um, guiding is 0.79, and I'm um, facing east. That's not too bad. Um, I'll, I'll take that because it's definitely less than my new image scale right now. And let me show you what this 0.8 reducer did to my numbers here. Okay, I'm using the Orion 0.8 reducer. My image scale goes from 0.82 to 1.03. So that's a little bigger field of view. I like that. That's what I needed. And my focal ratio drops from f7.5 to f6. And you would think, and the lower you go, the faster you collect light. And you would think that you know, with my simple thinking anyway, I thought, well, 7.5 is 25% greater than F6, so if, I, if, if I'm at F6 now, does that mean I'm 25% I'm faster because it, it gets faster as you go down? No, that's not how you calculate that. Actually, the formula to calculate the difference in speed is this, and of course, my friend Jason has a formula for everything, and I didn't even know this. Um, you would take your current focal ratio, which mine is 7.5, square it, and divide it by the new focal ratio of 6. So I get 56.25 divided by 36 equals 1.56. So that's actually 156% boost in speed. That's not bad. Um, I was thinking it was going to be 0.25 increase in speed, but 1.56 is a, definitely a much bigger number than 0.25, so that's great, you know, so yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. If you're trying to compare two different focal ratios, this is the formula. Okay, I captured 69 frames, and that's a little over four and a half hours of data, that they were four minutes each. And let's take a look at how this reducer did. Now, again, I, I put the reducer on because there's some targets I want to do that are a little bit wider. And the thing that concerned me the most with this reducer is, will my stars look round edge to edge? Because I really need to, to go edge to edge now. Now, let's take a look in the center, first of all. And, okay, now the center is showing round stars. I'm good with that. Let's go all the way to the left. Um, not too bad. Uh, not, if you look at this one, not a perfect circle. It looks a little bit stretched, but I think I'm okay with that. It, it's round enough. It, it'll pass my test. <laughs> Let's go all the way to the right. Uh, about the same thing as I saw on the left. Hmm. Let's take a look at the top right. Uh, it's hard to see, but it looks like maybe there's a slant going on this way. Hmm. How about the, the bottom right here? It's interesting. It looks like there's a little bit of a, a something going on this way and something going on this way. 
So maybe it's not perfect, totally perfect, edge to edge, but yeah, these aren't perfectly round stars in the corners. But you know what? I think I can live with this. It's not that bad. And yeah, definitely there's some stuff going on here. I definitely see in the upper left uh, some stretched stars. But you know what? When you, you yes, yeah, not that great. <laughs> but you know what? Who's gonna look at it that big unless somebody's really trying to analyze it? When you're looking at it maybe full frame like that, to me, I'm okay with it. I can live with this. So they're not perfect edge to edge. I think my flattener does look better edge to edge. But this it serves its purpose. It gave me a wider field of view and a boost in speed. And let's take a look at my process data. That looks pretty cool, don't it? And, and by the way, um, the data we were just looking at this one, this is only a stretch. I didn't do any other processing on this data here. And this is how it looks processed. So um, that's all I got to share for now, folks. We'll see how this turns out. This is the only project I'm working on right now. And this is only after the first day. It's going to take me uh, probably quite a few days to finish this on these short summer nights. So I probably won't be back for a while. But thanks for listening. I'll see you later.